of two bands. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Zetaban v Rasta. Oh, no. I want to see Jet's confidence of Rasta increase here. He's got one set left for the night. If he can't turn it on tonight, he's not going to get the chance to turn it on tomorrow. He's very much one of those high rated type of players. We're leaving Aramata free here as well. Like, I've got to be thinking, like, maybe. Can I trick William into maybe taking me to a stage he doesn't want to be on? He's going for Aramata. This could be very interesting. Gets the quick parry on the slipstream. William is ready for it. I'm not sure what William's experience in the uh, Rasta matchup is. I know New South Wales has a couple of um, mid-tier Rastas, but no one at Jets level. He's sort of push it, been pushing the character in Australia. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, that's going to do him any favours, though. No practice against a really good Rasta. Very even game so far, though. Mm. Willing with his trademark defensive playstyle. Yeah. Jet just wants to dance around him as much as possible. I think Jet's comfortable in this matchup. He knows what he can do, he knows what he can't do. Ooh. Always get killed by the sweet spot up there, there, but he did go for the F strong. He does it again. It's so committal. Makes it so easy for Zedaban to sneak in something like a, an up strong there as well. Gets a sweet spot to finish off that stock. So good start for, for Young Jet here. But quickly gets planted. Pushed up with the sweet spot up here. Oh, William put on. It's interesting, we're seeing a slower style of game here, aren't we? Yeah, no, definitely. William has never been, really been known to be very fast with Zedaburn, and this shows that. This shows. Jet just misses the F strong there. The down strong puts him down a bit lower. I think he used a few of his jumps there, but he managed to get back. That up strong, wow! Fantastic movement from Jet to get that kill! Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Oh, you can feel he's trying to combo him. <laughs> uh, the spike was a tiny yeah, bit too high. The down air with the spike was really sweet as well. I wanted to see something happen, but... I want to see if we do one. Yeah. Just not in the right position to make the magic occur. Yeah. Hey, whatever happens, Jet's going to do something. Okay. I think he's seeing that William has the ability to parry the slip trim as well, so we're setting it up a bit higher, so we're going for the more aerial based movement than sticking to the ground, which is what Jet was trying at the very beginning of this set. Yeah. So it's interesting to see that we've already transitioned to that style of gameplay. But Jet's really feeling himself, he's sort of bopping his head along, he's got the tunes in, I'll see if I can quickly get him on screen. But he's, uh, he's gone into game mode just as I switch the camera. He's really thinking about his bands here. Did you see that little grin on his face? He's got a smirk going. That's the confidence you need to get a top 8 placing though. I don't mind this stage choice from Liam here actually. Yeah, no, tall ceiling means he's not going to get hit, uh, killed with the up strong at all, so it's, gonna, it's pretty safe. It is very difficult for any character to burn Rass's resources when they're off stage though, so... I'm not sure what we're going to see in terms of edge guard game. It might just be parries or simple punishes with strong attacks to finish off these stocks. You might beat out a fire. Last game we got a, like an up air combo here or there. Oh, oh that was a good Just uh, leaning the pressure on him. I think it's really important for William to take the first stock here if he's going to keep the momentum to get this game going as much as possible. Does not kill this stage. Oh, okay, so he's still alive. alive. I wonder what that was for William. I think Jet's comfortable getting these uh, these forward strongs oh, he out. Got the first stock. He's big. noticing that William isn't really punishing him for that sort of option as well. Yeah, I think he's very antsy about it all. We're not really seeing any big combos from these players. They're going for really quick two, three hit chains and sort of backing off into neutral again. So maybe they're both comfortable playing at that pace, and that's the sort of set that we're seeing so far. Oh, got the down strong out. Yeah, I wonder why Jet didn't punish that. Jet committed to the off stage there, so he wasn't really in a position to parry it, but if he had been a bit quicker, maybe he could have punished it in some other way. Sure. He's, he's committing for the, the up strong there. I think he needs to back down from the strong attacks a little bit. Oh, nice conversion. Works there, but that was poor DI. That was... It's not a situation that's going to come up. Yeah, I think Jet's preying on the uh, lack of confidence from William here. 
I'm not sure if it's lack of confidence we're seeing, but William, not sure. This doesn't seem ready for, for Jets Rasta. Oh. Goes out to finish it out. Ooh, that was a 4G over. That's a strong finish for Jet. It is. It is a very strong.